Our top story tonight, another CBS 46 exclusive holding on to deaths for 40 years. You're about to hear from the man once at the helm of the Atlanta child murders. Thanks for staying with us at six. I'm Sharon Reed. Hi everybody. I'm Thomas Roberts. All of these years, four decades later, he has never gotten in front of the cameras until now. Tonight, he is opening up to CBS 46's Haley Mason. Haley. Thomas Willie Taylor is nearly 80 years old and he tells me he is willing to share all that he knows about the child murders with police today. Taylor was on the front lines of the investigation as nearly 30 black children and young adults were being killed all around him. Willie Taylor hasn't been in law enforcement in decades, but the Atlanta child murders have stuck with him. That was probably one of the most traumatic experiences that any of us have ever experienced in our lives. Inside these boxes, the retired Atlanta deputy chief has kept images from the investigations for 40 years. They're printed on these tiny projector slides that he's showing for the first time to us. In a number of cases, we found only skeletal remains of the of the victims. Some of the crime scene images are too sensitive to show, but many give a glimpse at the massive police efforts to find the 29 missing children and young adults as bodies turned up all over Metro Atlanta in the late 70s and early 80s. Our days oftentimes are 14, 15 hours per day. And uh, you finally say, well, I'm gonna go home and get a night's sleep. I'll get some rest. And on your phone or your people would go off and say, we just found another body, another or another child just disappeared. That's when police launched the Missing Children's Task Force with Taylor at the head. We received about 127,000 tips that came in. He set up the first phone banks and supervised all the investigations. Once Wayne Williams became our primary suspect, that was the first time that we had a person, a physical person that we could try and find a link to the forensic evidence. Based on the evidence, Taylor believes that Wayne Williams is guilty of killing most of the children and for their families. We owe it to the children to give them a monument. I owe it to the parents to give them a monument. So something they could physically touch, say this is a positive reminder of my child. Now we also talked about the efforts happening right now to start retesting the evidence, possibly with new DNA technology. Well, since investigators only found skeletal remains at many of the scenes, Taylor tells me that unfortunately, there won't be much evidence to analyze in some cases. You can hear more from him and others involved in the relaunching of this story on our CBS 46 website and news app.